I rise in opposition to this bill this evening. This has been a long and ongoing conversation, and there have been a lot of conversations on this floor in committees uh, and outside this building about this policy. Madam Speaker, it strikes me that when we talk about housing, we have to remember there are landlords and tenants, housing providers, and the housed. They must go hand in hand. This is a football game, not where the two teams are battling against each other to get into the end zone, but where both teams need to hold the football together to get across the end zone together. There is no housing without housing providers. There are no housed without housing providers. There is no business for a housing provider without a tenant. But Madam Speaker, I wonder what is going to happen to the tenants that we have heard about on this floor this evening when housing provider after housing provider does what we know they will do. We have seen this in other places, and we have heard testimony directly. When policies like this go into place, they will divest themselves of their portfolio and turn housing stock into home-purchased housing. When that housing supply, that rental housing supply, diminishes, I wonder what is going to happen to those renters who depend on housing supply? What will happen to the prices of the remaining rental properties? Madam Speaker, just today we, we received news from the Wall Street Journal, permission to read. Please proceed. New York Community Bank Corp is the largest lender of rent-stabilized apartments in New York City. Many of their loans were made when developers had more flexibility to upgrade rent-stabilized units and then boost the rent to market rate or convert them to condominiums. In 2019, new laws capped the amounts that landlords can raise rents at these properties. Though the buildings could still deliver steady returns, business plans that were based on steeper rent increases no longer penciled out, property values started plummeting. I have heard directly from members of my local school districts concerned about the, the potential the 30 challenges remaining. to our communities from diminished property values. The last thing I would say, Madam Speaker, is it's a, it tends to be an article of faith that rents never, ever diminish, never decrease. But Madam Speaker, we heard testimony from housing providers who said the effect of this policy would be to ensure that rent increases are locked in year over year. Please vote no.